we were expecting a little bit, but we were also expecting 100 sandbags to keep it out and a thousand sandbags wouldn't have kept it out. The barrier island really took a beating from Hurricane Helene. People on Captiva say the damage is as bad or worse than Ian. On North Captiva, which you're looking at here, the 200 people who live on the island are dealing with flooding, storm surge, and a possible tornado. NBC2's Kennedy Mason took a boat ride to the island to assess the damage. The only way you can get to North Captiva is by boat or private plane. Now we got here today by boat to see the impacts from Helene. Residents were impacted by severe storm surge. We just we're ready to get some power. That's for sure. Take a clean shower. Yeah. You're warming everything up on a little, you know, a little griddle or running the generator, waking up in the middle of the night, filling it up. It's like, okay. You forget how much you love power. Four days after Helene and North Captiva is dealing with so much devastation. Air conditioning units are submerged in water Where's and standing street? septic water fills the streets yeah. with nowhere for the water to go. This is a part of Rum Road. Plus, it smells horrible. Noah Mustafa, general manager of Safety Harbor Club, says another major problem, golf carts with lithium iron batteries are completely flooded. And that's the primary means of transportation here on the island, so it's like losing your car. And these lithium ion batteries are notorious when salt water gets in them. They get hot, the heat won't stop, and then they explode. This one actually exploded. This was a loud boom. It sounded like a bomb going off. Bill Saunders, Upper Captiva Fire Lieutenant, says their building got 30 inches of water, which he says they were not expecting. With Ian, we didn't get this much water, and, and as you know, that was more of a direct hit on our area. Water fills the front of the building and their trucks, making most of them unusable. It, it was very, very tough for the guys to, to manage getting out and to try to help the residents. At this point, I think it's really imperative for our local and uh, state and federal governments to help uh, Upper Captiva to bring in a replacement engine at the very least. So if someone has an issue, um, Upper Captiva right now is uh, going to have a hard time responding. The Lee County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit stepped in today, bringing in buggies for those cleaning up the island, plus tents, coolers, and water for residents. But even with the help, there's still a lot of work to be done. You think it's overwhelming? Very overwhelming. It's like one day at a time, that's for sure. Right now we're trying to figure out if we should buy a tractor or, you know, it's like where do you start? Every day is just questionable. But despite the devastation and all the cleanup left to be done, the Melvins and many others on the barrier island say. It's living in paradise and sitting on the beach. The Fire Department and Civic Association is requesting help from FEMA to get the barrier island back to what it was before Ian. Local in North Captiva, Kennedy Mason, NBC2.